In today's video, we are going to be checking out the swing step and why it is so effective in basketball, even at the highest levels in the NBA. So let's get down. Let's check this out. This is a full tutorial so that you can also do this exact same move. Let's check it out. First, what is the swing step? And of course, also, we're going to start with the high gather. There's a few different ways of doing the swing step, but it all consists of taking two long steps, usually around a defender. The first we're going to take a look at is the high gather, which is what we see in this first clip. There's two ways of doing the high gather. The first way is with one hand. Sometimes you may go one hand into two. Other times you may just do one hand the entire time. I would definitely suggest going two hands. However, this is a fantastic move to get around defenders. Here we can see two hands high gather over top of the defender and taking those two steps around that defender. How you would really want to do this is usually planting the inside foot first in the direction that you're about to go and then that second step taking around that defender. Now some people may think that this is a travel. However, this is the gather step first. Remember, you're allowed to take two steps after the gather, which means that that right foot, then crossing with your left foot in front, keeping that ball up high, and then taking that secondary step, then going and finishing at the rim. There's players like Kyrie Irving who will do this with one hand the entire time until the second step, he gets two hands on it, and it really does come down to what type of defense that's happening after that first player. But these two steps need to be as long as possible so that you can get past those defenders. Now the low gather is something that DeMar DeRozan is really well known for and he's able to do it very successfully. Now usually you don't want to go with a low gather at the youth level mainly because a lot of referees may say that you are out of control and if you do get called for no fouls and they're hacking away your arms that's probably why. However this is a very good example right here where you can get that ball down low with two hands on it and you would generally do this against taller players than yourself because they can't reach down as low as you. So by keeping it down low with two hands on that low gather, you are going to be able to get that ball to the rim much easier. Or if you've got a help side defender coming out to try to swipe away at that ball, sometimes keeping that ball down lower than how far they can reach is going to be beneficial. While with a high gather as we see here with Kyrie Irving, that defender's arms were down, you can do this when the defender's arms are down or if you're taller than your defender, you can do the one hand or two hand high gather without worrying about getting stripped. With the low gather however, if you've got a tall defender on you that's when you would want to have that lower gather so that they can't reach that ball however a mid gather or a power gather is going to be at your waist can be at your waist or your chest as well but generally when you've got it at your waist you're going to be able to hold that ball against your body and then you can get two hands on that ball on those two steps you would generally do this if you've got a stronger defender on you than yourself or if you're going through traffic as we can see here this is a mid gather and he's keeping it close to his body but still slightly out he's doing this because he's going to be much stronger than that main defender and he can do this but if you go up against a lot of traffic that's when you would want to really keep it close to your body so altogether between the low gather the mid gather that we see here or the high gather this swing step is very useful at the youth level we even see it here where literally at the high school level you can get some easy baskets you can generally do this if you've got a player who is on his heels and you're trying to get past him and you're a, a basically a full head of steam or if your player is traveling in one direction you can do almost exactly what you see here towards the rim both very useful and effective i hope that this video helps you become a better basketball player if it does hit that like button and subscribe and i'll see you guys again next time